all right, all right, all right. I know I did say in the previous why I want for Shane Wright that I wanted to make more of these videos sooner. And that Shane Wright video was published like a month ago. So here we are with the second episode of the 2022 NHL Entry Draft series for Why I Want. This is the video series where we go over top prospects at the 2022 NHL Entry Draft. The last episode started off with the consensus first overall pick Shane Wright. Today we're going over a guy that some people have pegged as number two, others have him lower, it depends on who you ask, but in general it would feel kind of weird making this video anywhere else other than second. But before we get over onto that, this video is sponsored by Topps NHL Skate. Ever want to step into the hockey collecting game but just don't have the time or space? Big fan of hockey cards or hockey ultimate team and want more content? Well, you're in luck. Because with the Top Skate app, you can satisfy that craving. Skate is a place where hockey fans all over the world can collect their favorite players and connect with other fans. You're likely already familiar with Top's trading cards, but Skate brings you all the same joys of collecting from the comfort of your smartphone. Just download the app for free, create an account, and get started on your collection. Daily missions, the mystery box, and spinning the wheel will help you get free cards and coins for your collection. Best of all, you can meet and trade cards with other members of the community as well to help complete your sets. You can also trade in cards to receive limited special ones too. Signature series, commander series, relic series, and current events moments with hundreds of different cards with insanely beautiful artwork. Top Skate is your new home for hockey memorabilia collecting. Download the app today for free and start building your ultimate collection. I'm on the app myself with the username LegoRox99. So as we noted, Shane Wright, first overall, probably a lock, who really knows? But if you go over to Matthew Savoy, this is the player whose consolidated ranking on Elite Prospects is second overall, meaning that the average of all of the rankings is around that number two spot. However, if you take a look at Matthew Savoy and where he is ranked just in general, the other outlets kind of vary from place to place. So Elite Prospects themselves, they have him at number five. Future Considerations has him at number six. Bob McKenzie, they have him at number seven. So the TSN crew, a little bit lower on this guy. McKean's has him at number two. Craig Button has him at number five. Sportsnet, eight. Recruit Scouting, six. Dauber Prospects, third. Draft Prospects, third. Smot Scouting and the Puck Authority all have him at second as well. So his consolidated ranking is second because second overall is the most prevalent position. Who is Matthew Savoy and why should we care? Savoy is a 17-year-old center. 5'9", 172. He's a right-handed shot from St. Albert's, Alberta. Even though he is a particularly small hockey player compared to you know, Shane Wright, for example, Matthew Savoy has himself a very interesting story as well. Playing for the Northern Alberta Extreme Prep School program in the Canadian Sports School Hockey League, the U18 division, by the way, he had 71 points in 31 games played as a 15-year-old player. Because this is the U18 league, he's playing with 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, and some 18-year-olds too, and despite that fact, he still came out here as one of the best players in the league, even though he wasn't first in scoring, though, because there were some guys in the Pacific Coast Academy Prep School and the Delta Hockey Academy that were doing really well, too. Savoy, though, had the higher point per game than a lot of these guys, and he was only 15, so there indeed was a desirable player profile here. It's why he went first overall in the Winnipeg Ice's WHL draft back in 2019. And in fact, there were a lot of people speculating that this guy, Matthew Savoy, because of how good he was at the CSSHL level, he might even go out there and get exceptional status. He applied alongside of Shane Wright, and the expectation in the hockey world was that both of these guys would get the label. However, Wright got it, Savoy did not. Here's some of the reaction from back then in 2019 when he wasn't given the label. This is what TPE Hockey says. He is a scout who does some very good work on Twitter. Per the WHL's network, Matthew Savoy has been denied exceptional status, and I, for one, am absolutely floored. I like him more than Shane Wright, who was accepted earlier today. I had a cool video edit and stuff planned because I was 100% confident it was happening. Here's that video anyway. Savoy was an exceptional status contender player and is known for his ridiculous skating talent and high skill level. Oddly enough, though, in 1920, the Winnipeg Ice were actually allowed to play Savoy despite the fact he was only 15. He had 22 games played in 2019-20, and he had 7 points. However, that was mostly in a very sheltered role. He was just only there because they needed the bodies on the team. But because the WHL was a little bit slow to kick off in 2020-2021, Savoy, as a 16-turning 17-year-old player, took his talents over to the USHL level, where, for the Dubuque Fighting Saints, he was over a point per game and one of the more effective players in this entire hockey league. He also played a stint in the AJHL, which is the Alberta Junior A scene over there, 
and he was particularly good as well. However, it wasn't really until this season where Matthew Savoy went out there and absolutely showed off, okay, this is why. People said in 2019 I should have had the exceptional status label. This is why back then people said that I was behind Shane Wright, if not neck and neck with Shane Wright and Brad Lambert. We'll talk about him in a separate Why I Want video too. This year, for the Winnipeg Ice, as a 17-turning 18-year-old player who is only 5'9", Matthew Savoy has gone out there with 39 points in 24 games played. In fact, the Winnipeg Ice are doing pretty well this season. So much to the point that if you look at the WHL point production stats, it's kind of silly. In the WHL, the top five point scorers are all from the same team. Connor Geeky, Jake and Smallwood, we all know Smallwood, right? Steve Dangle represent? There are a whole bunch of guys over here from the Winnipeg guys that are top of the league in scoring, and Ben Zlotti, at 11th overall in the blue line, is not far behind. But Matthew Savoy is leading the race with his 39-point marker, and his 1.63 points per game is good enough to put him as the top guy in the league, tied with Jake Neighbors, who has only played eight games. Savoy is quite literally the best player in the WHL right now, and sure, you could say, oh, he's playing on such a stacked team. Look at Winnipeg. They're all over the score sheet over here. Yeah, Matthew Savoy is partly the reason why that even is the case. Because when you watch the Winnipeg guys, sure, McLennan is skilled. Connor Geeky is skilled. We have guys that are stepping up, performing their roles well, like Smallwood and Milne too, but Matthew Savoy is the guy who drives the ship. This is the reason why he has the most points out of everybody, and it's why it was even more shocking when people realized, okay, Matthew Savoy wasn't even invited to the World Junior Camp earlier this week. That's a video for another day, but why exactly is Matthew Savoy so good? How did he get to this position where he is the top WHL point guy, and how projectable are these qualities to the NHL? Well, let's talk about that. If I were to describe Matthew Savoy's game in one word, it would be quick. Firstly, overall, his movement. The way the guy moves around the ice, he is a very quick, very speedy hockey player. Secondly, the way he understands the game. He is very quick to adapt. When things don't go his way, he is very quick at making decisions in order to correct things or put his team in a more favorable position. His shooting ability? Hey, he's got a really quick shot. His brother, older brother, is Carter Savoy, Edmonton Oilers prospect, who is one of the best goal scorers in the NCAA, and we have talked about Carter Savoy a lot, too, on this channel, so you can go ahead and check that out. That goal-scoring talent, it kind of presents itself in Matthew Savoy, not to the same extent that Carter has in his game, but for Matthew Savoy, he's got a really good ability of just firing pucks from super close to his body. Every time you see this guy wind up for a snapshot or a wrist shot, he usually has the puck right near his feet, which isn't usually the traditional shooting stance, but it's something that I did notice in a lot of the goals that Savoy did score, especially on the power play. Speaking about that power play, when he has the puck, he's usually on the right side, which you don't normally see for right-handed forwards. He's able to rove around the zone, he's able to dangle the pants off of guys in one-on-one -on -one situations, and he's really quick at understanding what he needs to do. He's got really good vision. When he sees a guy open on the far side, he's able to get it to them, no sweat. His playmaking ability is very strong, and he adjusts so well to everything that goes on around him. When the game is super slow, when it's very methodical, like a chess match, he can absolutely step up and play that sort of style. But when it comes to a speedy, fast-paced, high-intensity game too, Savoy can go out there and match it perfectly. He's also got a really polished off-puck game as well. Not only is he quick enough to intercept a lot of passes with his proper positioning and speed, but he also plays in the penalty kill too. He's got a really good hockey mind, he can read the play well, and it all combines into a package for a small, speedy center that's got a wicked shot and some really good playmaking ability. We didn't really see a lot of those numbers stand out to us when he was at the USHL level or even in the AJHL before, but this season as the best player in the WHL so far, Matthew Savoy is the leader on what is a very good Winnipeg Ice team, despite the fact that he is only 5'9", and despite the fact that he is only 17 years old. Now as to why he's probably falling down draft rankings, honestly, if I had to say, I'd probably guess that expectations got a lot out of this guy for the scouting community and people who are keeping up with the draft in general, because when they hear back in 2019, okay, Shane Wright is going to be fantastic, and Savoy and Lambert are going to be right behind them, and they see this season, okay, Shane Wright went out there at the U18s, he dominated, fantastic goal scorer over there, and they see Matthew Savoy in the USHL only scoring at a point per game, it becomes easier to say, okay, well, there are some other shiny new toys that are available at the 2021 NHL entry draft, excuse me, 2022 NHL entry draft, and maybe Savoy just kind of isn't that guy. 
Furthermore, it's a lot easier to doubt the 5'9 center because, let's face it, if he was only like 3-4 inches taller, like he would be likely one of the more highly touted picks consistently across the board, and I say that despite the fact that his consolidated ranking is still second overall in elite prospects. So, for Matthew Savoy, to me, he's got franchise-defining potential just in the way this guy's able to understand and play the game. I know some people are a little bit lower than him on that, but to me it's really just the size that's holding him back. Offensive instincts, defensive instincts, awareness, shot, puck skills, he's got so many good qualities to his game that project as a number one caliber center in the NHL that if you're doubting this guy just because he is only 5'9", I mean, I guess it kind of speaks to the times, doesn't it? The NHL is changing, the NHL is getting speedier, faster, and guys like Savoy have all to benefit from this kind of transition. Players like Matthew Savoy can take over shifts, even though they have that 5'9 label, because if you're going to go out there and try to body check this guy, hey, guess what? He's just going to dangle you. Shane Wright may be a bigger, more polished, and more offensively fine-tuned, I guess is the best way to put it, center in the NHL. But you shouldn't go out there and discredit Matt Savoy either, because if this guy's available any time past like third or fourth overall, I think you're kind of laughing at that point. So, talk to me in the comments what you think about Matthew Savoy and the entire prospect report over here for why I want. Do you want your favorite hockey team to take on this kind of player, depending on where you are in the draft, and depending on what your needs are? Talk to me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye. <laughs>